Hello, everybody. So we're going to continue with chapter one in the second grade Go Math textbook. We're on page 21. And in today's lesson, we're going to start practicing and understanding place value. So the essential question that you should be able to explain by the end of the lesson is, how do you know the value of a digit? Okay. So listen, and I want you to draw this following um, scenario. And pause the video uh, after I've read the scenario so that you can independently do your work. Gabriel collects baseball cards. The number of cards that he has is written with a two and a five. How many cards might he have if he has, if it has to be written with a two and a five? Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and fill in this top part and the bottom part. So there's two possibilities, right? All right, so go ahead and pause the video and let's see what you come up with. All right. Did you come up with 25 and 52? So we can represent a 10 with a 10 rod, right? So two tens is 10, 20, and then five ones. So 25. Or we could put the five in the tens place and we'd have five 10 rods. Okay, two, four, five, and five tens is 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and we have two ones. All right, so those are our two possibilities. So why is the five different in each spot? What well, has to do with their place value, right? In this case, the five is in the ones place. So we have five ones. In this situation, the five are in the tens place. And so we say we have five tens or a value of 50. All right, let's look at page 22. All right, so the counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are digits. Okay, so you can say 5 is a digit, 6 is a digit. Three is a digit. In a two-digit number, which means that you have to have two of these numbers, you know the value of a digit, digit by its place. So here, these represent 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So there are six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens. One, two, three, four, four ones. So we say 64. The digit six is in the tens place. It tells you there are six tens or 60. The digit four is in the ones place. It tells you there are four ones or four. Okay, so we're just gonna practice that. We're gonna practice um, identifying the place value. So circle the value of the red digit. So I'm going to, if you get a piece of paper, take a regular piece of paper, fold it over in half, and at the top of your paper, write tens, in the right-hand side, write ones. So we can just write these. So 26, how many tens do you see in 26? I see two tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Right, so the number is 26. All right, so the six is in the ones place. Okay, how about the next one? Five, eight. So five tens, eight ones. 58. 
So the five is in the tens place, or 50. The value of the five is 50. All right, number three, four, zero. So write four, zero. So we have four tens and zero ones. So the four, if you have four tens, that means you have 40. All right, number four, seven, three. Well, seven, three, we read as 73. So 73, the three represents the three ones. So three. 24. So if we write 24 on a place value chart, we have two tens, four ones, making up 24. So in our problem, the red digit is two. So that's 20. And then our last one, 61. Okay, well, 61 means we have six tens, one one, for a value of 61. Six tens, one one, 61. And so the one is in the ones place, 61. All right, let's look at page 23. Circle the value of the digit, of the red digit. So 51. Okay, 51. So we'd circle one. 49. Four tens, nine ones. So circle the nine. In number nine, we have the digit, the number 70 made up of the digit seven and the digit zero. The seven is in the tens place which means we have seven tens or 70. Okay, so 18. We have one 10 and eight ones. So the digit in the tens place, one is 10. 65, we have one, two, three, four, five, six tens or 60. And we have one, two, three, four, five ones. So the red five in the ones place means five ones. 33, 10, 20, 30. So the digit, the first three is in the tens place. So it represents 30. Number 13, 30. So we have to find what place value is the zero. Well, the three is in the tens place, 10, 20, 30. There aren't any ones, so we're going to circle zero ones. 46. Well, there's six ones. 46. 54. Okay, 54. Five is the digit that's red. So there's five tens. That's how why we say 50. So one, two, three, four, five, five tens. So 50. Number 16, look at the digits of the numbers. Draw quick pictures for the missing blocks. So 47, well, we can represent these 10 bars with just a straight line. So we have, how many tens do we need? We need four tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40. And how many ones do we need? We need seven ones. Right now we only have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. 52. Well, we have two tens, but we need five tens. Three, four, five. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and we have two ones. 52. All right, and let's go to page 24. All right, my number has eight tens. My number has eight tens. All right, so 
eight tens, the digit in the ones place is greater than the digit in the tens place. So what digit is bigger than eight? Well, there's only one number, nine. So my number is 89. 18. In my number, the digit in the ones place is double the digit in the tens place. The sum of the digits is three. Okay, so there's a lot going on in that question, right? So the digit in the ones place is double the digit in the tens place. Well, let's just write some possibilities. So if we have one in the tens place, what would be double that? It would be two, right? All right. And let's say we had a two in the tens place. The double would be four. Okay, two plus two is four. If we had three in the tens place, double that, we'd have six. If we had four, double it, we would have eight. Five. We can't double that because that would give us 510. Okay, so we would, we're going to stop there. So it's got to be one of these numbers. Now, so the digit in the ones place is double the digit in the tens place. All right, so that's what we did. But it says now the sum of the digits is three. That means that if I add these two together, it's got to give me a total of three. All right, well, one plus two, that's three. Four plus two, that's six. Six plus three, that's nine. And eight plus four, that's 12. So which one met all the clues? Twelve. The digit in the ones place, two, is double the digit in the tens place, one. And if you add those two numbers together, two digits together, you get three. All right, 19. In my number, both digits are even numbers. The digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. The sum of the digits is six. All right, so we've been practicing even numbers right and we know that even numbers are any pairs right so our first pair is two four six eight technically zero right because if i have ten then it would be five pairs all right so now the digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place So I'm going to write the digits that we had, that we've come up with, okay? And now the ones place, the digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. All right, so I could have 24. I could have 26, or I could have 28, right? Because the ones place, the tens place, sorry, the digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. Okay, so I could have 24, 26, 28. Now, if I add any of those numbers up, do any of them give me 6? Well, what's 2 plus 4? That's 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. 2 plus 8 would give me 10. So it's not 26 and it's not 28. 24 works, right? Okay, let's verify it by looking at our clues. Are both digits even? Yes, 2 and 4 are even. The digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. Is two less than four? Yes. The sum of the digits, adding them together, does that give us six? Four, five, six, yes. All right, number 20. 
What is the value of the digit four in the number 43? Well, how many tens do we have? We have So quickly draw tens and ones place value chart. I have one, two, three, four tens, one, two, three ones. Well, how do we need to read this number? 10, 20, 30, 43. So what is the value of the four? 40. Okay. So that's it for our beginning place value with tens and ones. So let's go back and look at our essential question. How do you know the value of a digit? Well, we know the value of a digit based on its place. So if I have 38, I have three tens and eight ones. So if you tell me what's the value of the three in 38, I would tell you that it's 30 because there are three tens. I would tell you that the eight in 38 would be eight, just eight, because there's eight ones in 38. Okay, so that's it for 1.3. And until next time, I will see you soon.